Okay, so I've been quite excited to do this one. So I have five of the Chaos Chosen from Slaves to Darkness. These are the new ones that are in the army set. So you get ten in there, um, two lots of five. So I've already done the first five just um, as normal out of the box, but these ones I'm going to convert and I'm going to make them all Nurgle five because um, my army are all followers of Nurgle. So yeah, I'm really excited for this one. So I'm going to start, I think, with the standard bearer. Okay, so quite a simple one for this. Um, I'm not 100% sure if these arms can go on any body or they have to go on a specific one. Um, I've got this guy here. So this is... I mean, it fits on there quite well. It might be the actual body, I don't know. Um, but that fits on there pretty well, so we're going to use it. So, yeah, this pole is just from the shows, Chosen. But I'm going to use a different top for this one. If it wants to stick on there. Do you want to stick on there? There we go. So I'm taking this one. Where are we? From the Plague Bearers set, which I really like. And hopefully that will go on our pole fairly easily. I've got to get this chunk of sprue off the bell. Just neaten that up. As neat as it needs to be for Nurgle. And yeah, that should hopefully just sit quite nicely on there, but I'll let that dry. And then come back to that. So I've got him over here just drying. I'll put a head on him as well, and we're going to look at his other arm. So the standard bearer does come with this really awesome looking mace, there's another bit what goes on there. And it is really cool, but reluctantly I'm going to chop the mace head off. Um, I say reluctantly, my other one from the other squad has already got this mace, so that's fine. And I've got this axe from the Putrid Blight Kings, and I'm hoping just to stick the head on right where we've just chopped that off. So. Chop that off. And that should go on there quite nicely. Let's give that a little bit of a file down and a glue. Okay, and here he is. I put the shoulder pads on as well. And I also put a little Nurgle symbol that came with the original um, standard in the box, just on the back, just to cover up where that pole doesn't quite go all the way to the top. And the axe is on there, looking pretty cool. So we're going to work on the next one now. And this one I'm going to go all mutated with, so I've got a couple of arms here. Um, one of them is definitely Chaos Spawn. And this one I'm not too sure, it might be Chaos Spawn as well, but not 100% on that one. Um, might be actually, it's about the right size. We need to get this ball drawn off though. The old trusty GW clips. I'm going to have that sorted down there like that. Get that little bit of flash off. Oh, sorry, completely in the way of the camera. There's a little bit there. We'll take off. Not too worried about cleaning up. I can do all that later. So yeah, we're going to have um, that there and that there. And then I've got this little sort of wing bit I might try and stick on his back. And I also have a head somewhere. Just under the base. Haha. <laughs> Which. I'm not sure what that's from. That could be the old Forsaken kit or. They had like mutant upgrades um, way back in the day, but I don't think that's them. That's from the old Forsaken kit. But don't quote me on that. I apologise. Um, when I go rummaging through my own bits box. Oh, snatch the camera. Um, I just got random bits in there. I don't know what they are, so. Yeah. Oh, also, speaking of which, there's this shoulder pad as well, which I don't know what it's from. Again, could be for the old Forsaken, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to stick that on him as well. And then maybe just one of the normal chosen ones. If this one will fit on all right. Because it might look a little silly. I don't know. It doesn't really go around the torso very well. We'll see. He might just end up having normal shoulder pads. But I'm going to get all that glued on, and then I'll be back. And here he is. And um, I apologise for camera changes of each um, clip. I haven't got a permanent setup for the camera here, so I'm sort of just taking it down and putting it back up every time. Um, anyway, here he is. Here he is. 
and yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, again, um, needs a little cleaning up in certain spots, but yeah, I'm happy with this one. Nice and mutated. I don't care if it's, um, f you know, correct for fluff or anything like that. I don't care. I just think it looks pretty cool. Something different to have in the squad. And moving on, we're going to do the musician. And I've got a really cool idea for this one. So stay tuned. Um, I'll get the bits together and we'll start working on this one. Okay, so you'll notice a few bits here, including this little resin bell. So I found a free, it was a free miniature on Colts, I can't remember exactly, it was like um, a sort of Greater Demon of Nurgle ripoff which had a couple of bells, now scaled one down, I mean that's been quite cool to have them sort of ringing a bell, so I'm going to take the champion arm for this one, and don't worry I have other plans for the champion of the squad, which don't involve this arm, thankfully, too late now, no going back. And yeah, sorry, I shot that, just cut that off. And then the hand's gonna sort of go on, chop a little bit of the wrist down, but the hand's gonna go on there, like so. I might just cut that at a slight angle, just to make it a little bit better as it goes on. So that will essentially go on there. And in his other hand, I actually have this sword from the Varen Guard set. It's quite a big sword. Very Nurgle-esque. Maybe too good for a musician? I don't know. Um, I've got better ideas for the other couple of miniatures. So, the sword's going for this guy. And I'm using the normal musician. Sort of drumstick. And obviously going to chop the hand off. And replace it with this one, which is basically the same size, so... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I've got this head, which I don't know what it's from. I do apologise. I'm going to use that. It's got no neck, but we should be able to get away with it. If not, I'll just stick a little bit of green stuff or something underneath. So yeah, I'll get all of these ones glued up. And then we'll have our third member of the gang. Okay, so... Uh, Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. We have a bell ringer. And the head's from the Iron Golems. <laughs> I just sort of realised that. Pretty cool. Um, speaking of heads, as I was clearing some bits away, I found this one, which I've given to this guy. It looks more nurgly. Um, I think it's from some nurgling or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Kind of works. Anyway, that's what he's getting. The other two I've got here, one of them will be the champion. And I've glued on the arms and the shoulder pads because we're going to change the heads and change the ends of these weapons. So I'll get them together and then we'll see what we're going to do. Okay, so I've dipped into the Puscule uh, Blight Lords for the Trident and one of the Scythes. So I'm thinking Scythe on this one. And he could well be our leader. End of a Trident on this one. And yeah, they're going to look pretty cool. So get the old trusty GW snips. Um, I'll just do the head of the trident then. And chop it about. About there. This pole would make quite a good sort of Nurgle standard pole. So I think I'll keep hold of that. Something in the future. And yeah, I might even just snip this one at the end here. So you do get nice clean cuts for these snips, not perfect, but very decent. So I do like to use my little sand and stick things. Just sort of sand them as flush as I can, I'll probably have to do the same as this one. Um, I'm trying not to show too much of this process on this video, so you know the drill. So that's going to be on there like that. It looks a bit stumpy, but... I quite like it. Yeah, it's gonna work. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on here. I'll replace that axe head with a scythe, and then we'll stick some heads on them, and the squad will be done. Okay, and here they both are, all glued together, 
Um, a bit of a struggle trying to keep this trident in place. M may have to pin it, we'll see. Um, but yeah, looking cool. So yeah, heads. I just got one head. Just from that's just from this chosen set. Um, it looks alright. Won't stop much on that. And then this one is from the Pascual Blight Lords. Um, it's just blue tacked on at the moment though. Uh, I've still a bit of gap filling at the back. But it looks quite cool. Works quite well for a champion. Got a big scythe. So yeah. That is the squad. So let's take a look at them all together. So I've really enjoyed building this squad. Conversions are quite simple really. But um, they work really well. I'm really happy with them. And yeah I really like the bell. That's worked really well. It's one thing I do like about 3D printing stuff is that you can just scale them to however you want. And that's just taken from a greater demon. Massive, massive thing. Scaled down to be used for him, so that's really cool. Trident's quite nice. I really love that trident from the Puscule. And um, Blight Lords, I've wanted to use it for a while, so yeah, I really like that. I think also the axe from the Future Blight Kings works really well as well, so yeah. Really, really have enjoyed making these, and I can't wait to get, get them painted. And that'll be the um, Slaves to Darkness box finished for me, painted everything else in it. So I'll actually have a big set fully painted, which will be quite something for, for me. So yeah, um, thank you everyone who's watched, I'm hoping to do more conversion videos uh, in 2023, so yeah, stay peeled for them. Um, got a couple of ideas, not many, but couple and hopefully I'll come up with some more. I really want to do more more of that on the channel. So if that's your thing, then definitely um, hit that subscribe button and like this video if you have enjoyed it and I will see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.